Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more EU4. Sun never sets on the Indian Empire. and We're going to war today with Castile. The last episode was a really good one. I had a ton of fun with it. Poland might be a good choice. Because we could separate piece him out, but... He's being guaranteed, so it's, it's really not much that I can do when somebody is guaranteeing somebody unless I go to war with them. And I don't want to go to war with Brandenburg because Brandenburg is OP. So it's tough. I would like to clean up some of this border gore over here, but it is what it is. So the big thing with Britain is we would kick them out of China, and when, then we would make our way over. I'd like to go to war with France. So I think with Castile, I would like to take some lands, uh, an exclave, work our way up, take some land from France, and then take some land from Britain. That would be kind of our goal. Ideally, it would all connect, but I don't think it's realistic to expect that. Um, we could go to war with them, but I think the major thing, this war, we're going to have a little mini war here with uh, Hajran. Uh, it's fine. So, mini war with Hajran, because France is not going to help him out, so let's go ahead and do that. He's going to be helped by Yemen, who we will immediately stack wipe right there. You guys can come over there. Oh my gosh, I did not. Hold on. I'm not clicking you. You. You, you. Yep, alright, cool. Just go. Alright, anyways. Weird hitbox. Don't know why it was grabbing that guy. Get you down there. He has literally zero forts. Now project ahead of time. Wow, that's great. Oh, and now it's delayed. <laughs> Very good. Alright, so apparently we have some... Some fighting going on over here. Less than ideal. Suppose I could have looked at his military numbers before we went and declared war on him, but I don't don't care that much. He's a cool color though, I'll tell you that. Good. Stack wipe. Go. Should be a pretty quick war. I get half you guys over there, half you guys over here. Get everything cleaned up. And we'll probably just full annex both of them. Don't see why we wouldn't. Get you guys. Yemeni Central Sahara. Alright, so very good. You guys. There. There. Good. All right, cool. So I'm just going to switch this over to him immediately so I don't have to go through all those button clicks. Um, I can probably just take the rest myself. Can't imagine it's a big deal. Cost us a little extra war score, but i thinking we can probably full annex them. Mm, we cannot. Well, that's fine then. Separate piece it is for a little bit of extra Diplo. Okay, very good. And then you will get full annex. Hello, there we go. Beautiful, full annexation. There we go. And none of this is really helpful to the campaign. It's more just, you know, keep the borders looking nice. Like, for example, I could attack him right now. And I'm born. Ooh. So Cairo now has big name placement. Very good. Um, so you will be done getting annexed when? 79, you'll be done getting annexed 81, or 80, so. Get those rebels out of there. What? Go. All right, so. You guys are not all from the same stack. You guys certainly are. So I think... That looks about right, 34. A little uneven, but it's fine. Alright. Um, you guys over there. You guys can be down here for our French 
war. So, to go to war with Castile, we need to attack Venice, probably. Oh, Venice just got eaten alive. What happened to you, man? I didn't even see it. Well, regardless, this is good. Uh, Venezia. I don't know. I really don't. If that's the case, I'm going to have to start sailing my ships around right now. We can finally see Castilian South Africa. I could just attack him directly. But I'm still going to have to march my men over there. If I paid off Brandenburg's debt, I could get him in. So I'm actually going to do that. Just uh, send him a gift of... What was his debt at? You have to pay off his... So 11... 6. And I'm pretty sure you have to pay off the... Um, the what's it called? The, the interest as well. So it'll end up being like 13 something, I reckon. So we'll just send him basically everything we have. Shouldn't be a big deal. Lots of click, 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 click. Goodness gracious. How do you even get into that much debt, though, honestly? There we go. Did I? Oh, I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. I really did. I need a... I think Arumba has, like, a macro clicker thing. I'm going to look into that in between episodes, because... That would be nice for things like this. You could just, like, hold down... You know, Alt Z click, and just a brrr. you know, it's not cheating. It's a little cheating, but more just saving my hand from damage. All right, so now we wait one month. Still has two K debt. Right. I underestimated it. I, I told you I, th I thought it was going to be a little bit more than what I expected it to be. Ooh. Well, that just changed things up. Oh, Brandenburg would help him, though. Fine. You turd. Now he's not in, not in debt anymore. Even though I'm the reason he's not in debt. So let's just send, like, another 4K. And that way, he will guarantee be out of debt. And now, the monthly tick. We can call him in. Oh, Poland will join, too. I could separate piece Poland out and separate piece Venice out. Okay, cool. Well, we're definitely going to go Imperialism. And you guys, Navy, just going to hang out over... Hmm. Maybe we don't actually need you down here. It looks like you're having rebel troubles. Is the canal done yet? It is not. Man, how is this canal not done? I need to be careful, though, because he'll, he'll wipe out my Navy. So, let's uh, spend some of these points here. All right, I think we do need to send our navy around. A little sketchy, man. I think for now. So he's got some... Oh, man. If his navy is all split up, that'll be easy then. Let's get you guys down here. So he's got some men over here as well. If he's all spread out, that's honestly perfect for me. Get you guys split. Looks like he's got some rebels. Looks like we now have access, which is fine. Um... No forts down in South Africa. So, as for the achievement, we're going to take all of this. But we're also going to take all of this. Is this... Oh, that's Brandenburg, right? We're going to take all of this, all these islands, just, you know, for good measure. And then, could return all these cores. Cost me Diplo, though, to return the cores. Yeah, I don't want to pay Diplo, so I'm not going to do that. I would just take it myself.
He, man, he took all this land down here, too. Sheesh. All right, and like I would said, I want to take, like, a little chunk of land over here just so I have a jumping off point into France. I think that's ideal. Um, Cairo's landed some men, dude. Man, client states are no joke. I Why would I make... I don't know why I formed, why I released Greece. Seems like a waste of time in hindsight. All right, so let's see here. He has so many heavies. I really do need to be careful. But let's see here. Rebel uprising in Oman. Rather not deal with that. Let's see here. All right, we do have Croatians. The Emperor, right? Let's get Corbett over there. See if we can just piece him out and get him out of the war. Oh, shoot. Might not be a good fight for me. Uh, still a pretty good fight for me. Venice has some heavies as well. The sooner I can piece Venice out, the better. So Venice basically is Austria. That's crazy. Took a bunch of Austrian lands. So gonna come down here fight some uh, separatists for him I suppose why not all right so we will come over here do this looks like he's got some men over here so I'm not gonna split the armies quite yet get you guys sieging down that fort over there he's not gonna get any men in here but Poland however gonna need to get to work on Right, so this should be an absolute stomp for us. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, what are you... Goodness gracious. That is a little crazy, honestly. Um, the only problem is, is that my guys are just getting thrashed. As far as, like, I, don't, I need to repair them. I feel like it's suicide for them to come in through the straits. See if Scandinavia. Oh wait, we're in the war with Scandinavia. Very good. Let's see here if we can just force march over here real quick and just sneak onto Venezia. Oh, we totally can. How good is that? You can't beat that. That means we'll be able to force him out of the war very quickly. You gotta just stack wipe the Venetian stack. So let's just get Croatia out of the war. I'll just white piece you. That's fine with me. And Venice is going to want out soon. So let's see here. He has so many men. I think I'm just going to do it. Just go balls to the wall and send some guys over there. Alright, canal project is ahead of time. That's, that's great. Alright, so you guys would just piece out white. White piece. <laughs> Uh, I'll wait a couple months, see if I can get that. Oh, yeah, I can get that. Very good. I just cleaned out a ton of men out of their ranks. So you guys are almost repaired. Besides just casually marching men across. So, Poland. Will certainly eventually peace out, but I might end up having to coerce them a little bit. Um, a la completely full occupying their lands, which I'm willing to do, no sweat. All right, so we are actually gonna win this really quickly. Doesn't look like he have has many men in his mainland forts, apparently. Let's see how many events I can lose two years worth of manpower. Uh, it's fine. Toledo. Oh, here we go. Let's actually see here. I'm going to slow this down real quick. See if we can scorch the earth and run through here. See if we can bait that fight. Yeah, cool. We can. Even with Corbett. In the hills. He'll just want rock in... Beautiful. I guess I didn't need to really... Ooh, lost some men somewhere. 
Yes, need to be careful with that. All right, so Poland. You can just give me a little bit of land. The major thing is I need you to break your alliance. So I guess as long as you're breaking alliances, Bohemia is not anybody I'm concerned about. So that's fine. Guess I don't need land from you. I just want land from you. No point in overstepping my boundaries. So you guys are stack wiped. Let's see here. I think I saw another stack. Eh, it's fine. So our admiral is dad. So I think we're gonna actually just go for it. Let's see if we can get these guys up here. Okay, very good. Get you guys up here, see if we can stack wipe them. Catch them in the grasslands for sure. Right. So we're essentially... Essentially done here. Um, this is jungle, so... And I'm just over here taking attrition. Be really nice if we could like bait a good fight with them. Yeah, I think I can bait it. I'll get a stack wipe here. No, nope, they're not even gonna do. It. Okay, well that's fine. I'll just fight them in the river then, or in the jungle. They're trapped on this island, so they're not gonna get away. Or they, or they can, because they're the AI. That's fine. All right, so. What's the best way to get some war score in this war? When you're fighting against these massive armies, it's like a little tough. Let's get ourselves a Yudaldo. So we also have a major. Um, okay, pretty good. Major conflict down here. We have better engagement with. They have better morale. No, we have better morale. Much better morale. What? Way better morale. They have more heavies. We have way more lights, though. I don't know. Look at... Oh, we're stomping them. That's pretty even, actually. I think they're losing more than we are. I will... Yep. Um. Yeah, they're reinforcing. Okay, well, let's just flee over here to Cairo. Yeah. Pretty even losses. Dude. I guess that was to be expected. So let's go ahead and get a template of 40 heavies over here. Not tell me. I don't know if sailors. Damn. So how much is it? So it just says it's not enough. It doesn't actually tell me why it's not enough. Hmm. Not sure. Right, so let's uh, see if we can just get to work on sieging them down. I just need that canal to be done ASAP. Yeah, so there's no chance we're going to be able to do this, but I do want to take these. I don't necessarily care if all of this is taken, but I would like it. Good, get you guys up there, siege that down. I just don't understand how we have such low war score, aside from the fact that he has a lot of overseas colonies, but that is like, that's nuts. So, I need this one. <laughs> but I'd have to land men over there, so we're gonna have to wait till the next war. There's no chance I'm gonna be able to get that right now, but I think we're just gonna have to snipe it. Um. We have Canton. We can get Cape in this war. I mean, realistically, if, even if if I just take Cape, I could. I kind of want to take some land in Iberia. I think I siege him down, give him a little bit of war exhaustion, give him some more reasons to uh, give me what I'm looking for. I don't need to... I, I'm being greedy. I don't need to be so greedy in this war. Uh, tech cost for five... 5% tech cost is fine. Alright, so I think I am just going to do this. 
Mm. No forts up there, right? Um. This is fine. This is totally fine. So that allows these guys to get unblacked flag so we can go to war with France. Of which would be super easy. And that would allow us to take a bunch of land in Africa. Which is the main reason why we would want to go to war with him, right? Um, we can actually use it to take some land in the New World. Get ourselves a proper colony over here in Florida. Ooh, that's an idea. I think we're doing it. I think we do it right now. Cool. So, that should satisfy that portion. Right. So we just need two more. It's pretty good. So in this war, we are going to take much of his mainland, which is going to be fine. And then we are going to... Is there no fort over here? Bummer. Uh, so I can't imagine he has a whole lot of men. Under 100k. I mean, I, I need to be careful with his stack because he could clearly stack white me. But we'll also have uh, Brandenburg over here. So, dang, dude. Yeah, and they're going to be repairing super slow over time. We're still getting these guys annexed. So Cairo's done getting annexed, actually. It's pretty cool. So... My name grows bigger yet. Um, he also had some armies running around, obviously, that I need to figure out where they're at. Um... We have unrest down here. We do, but I should put them in a trade company. So how does this work? It's like if you have land in a trade company that's not on your continent, I believe you can use it. Like I think I can use trade companies down here. If no, apparently not. Hmm. I don't know, because technically I'm Asia. I think this is technically Asia, but this is Oceania. So, but Oceania is not a trade company. So I think I can just use the African trade companies. I don't know. I don't know exactly how that works. Uh, so you guys are going to join up. Where is his big bad army? Well, this is way too easy for me. Oh, wait, he's always oh, he's reinforcing. And... Okay, well, he, he, he fled, so we're good. So let's just come over here, siege down his level 4 fort, easy peasy. Right. Brandenburg is just going to swarm him, because it's literally just Brandenburg. Shun is in the war, apparently, which is kind of funny. He's like an OPM over here. So let's just send one army over there with Corbett. Daldo, you do not have very many men, dude. Let's get you some, uh, some mercs in your army. go let's go with 20k that's probably a little more appropriate can't believe he has 10k men that's weird win the siege so aragon is in this war Ooh, junior partner very cool the more you know i actually didn't see that before we went to war yeah, so the, the gist is, like, I'm just going to have a big enough stack that he won't attack me. All right, so where are you guys going? Soon as... Mm. So let's refill that garrison, see if we can bait them into heading over to the, into the woods and see if I can stack wipe them over there. A lot of men. Could definitely kill some Swiss. Very well done, Udaldo. And they'll just send their armies in here over time and back wipe themselves. Let's make sure we got a general. Very good. Discipline. So let's actually enlist the Pervious. Get a little bit of extra damage off. Oh, he stack wiped himself. Well, that's pretty good. And, uh, yeah, Brandenburg's gonna do most of the heavy lifting here. We probably should make sure he doesn't have any forts over here. He has no forts in any of this land. So, 
Aragon has a <laughs> Aragonese Congo. Okay. Um, so I'm going to have to siege that down if I want any, but I'm more leaning towards like just taking most of this continental land, um, probably a couple provinces in Africa, and then over here. As well as I'd like to take some land in the New World, but I'm going to have to do that um, in the next episode. <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying, and if you are, show your support and leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. I'm thinking we're going to be able to wrap this achievement here up within the next couple of episodes, two or three episodes. Um, it should be fun. Um, I think we're just going to stop it after we get it. I'm not going to go for any pretty borders or anything like that. And a lot of people have been enjoying the series, but at this point, the series is basically done. Uh, we were just going for Maywire Never Changes, and I decided to keep it going because I was thoroughly enjoying it, and it seemed like a lot of people were in the comments. So um, I want to know what you guys think about the series. So feel free to leave comments on any of my videos. Let me know what you're thinking. you got a lot of people who give me really great advice. Um, I just like the positivity and the reinforcement. If you like what I'm doing, let me know. You know, Leave a like on the video. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Subscribe if you have not already. There's a Discord as well as a Patreon. Both of those are going to be linked in the description down below. And with all of that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later. Big special thanks to Udalda and Corbett Gaming, my top supporters on Patreon, as well as Classified for Life, Bloodbound92, Radu the Beautiful, Airborne Animal 7, Lambda Driver, Damien Hartvig, as well as others for your awesome support on Patreon. Feel free to check out a couple of the series I have listed on the right, as well as subscribe. Catch you guys later.